guys welcome back so today we're going over partial derivatives with quotient rule so here as you guys can see in this example this is a form of a fraction so how do we calculate um, if it's in this form so we use the quotient rule so remember the quotient rule from your previous classes like from uh, from your first uh, calculus class the cal1 class so the uh, the, uh, the formula to find the function the quotient rule is f prime times g plus g prime times f over g squared where the upper function is f and the lower function is g okay so you can simply write it over here f is equals to 3x negative y and g is equals to x plus 2y and then we will find the derivative of x and the derivative of g and then plug in into this formula to find the partial derivatives. Okay, so the partial derivatives here, as you can, can see, this function is in the form of two variables, x and y. So first, let's find the partial derivative of this function with respect to x. So this notation means the partial derivative of x with respect to x, okay? This can also be written as f of x, okay? So partial derivative of x with respect to f, partial derivative of f with respect to x okay so here when you're finding f of x this means that y is a constant okay and yeah by the way guys i made a video on partial derivatives um and i will provide the link in the description below in which i went over uh how, what is a partial derivative and how to calculate it and in this example in this video i will just go over the quotient rule so if you want to learn the basics of the partial rule so do watch the other video okay so let's continue with this so here y is a constant okay so now let's take the derivative of f and g considering the fact that we're taking the y as a constant so that means every time we see y we're treating it as a constant and we're only differentiating for x okay so now 3x what's the derivative of 3x this is only 3 okay and here this is a constant y you see a y, right? So this is a constant. So what's the derivative of a constant? It's zero, right? So you simply do not write it, okay? So now let's continue with g prime. So then what's the derivative of g prime? Now we're again treating y as a constant. So the derivative of x is one. And y, since it's a constant, derivative of that is zero as well. So you don't write it. So now we have f prime times g prime. Now let's just plug it into this formula. Okay, so this formula, don't forget this formula. It's really important. And yeah, I'm sorry, I put a positive here. It should be negative. Okay, now you do this. So now y is a constant. Um, I'm sorry so you now you just plug in it, uh, the these things into the formula okay so first we have f prime so which is 3 and then g which is x plus 2y and then negative g primes so g prime is this 1 times f just this one 3x negative y and then all this over g squared so what is g g is this so x plus 2y squared so okay so what did we do we had to find the, the partial derivative with respect to x so we took y as a constant because we're uh we're differentiating with respect to x so the other variable that is not in there we treat it as a constant okay and then we wrote our f and g and differentiated the f and g with respect to y y uh, I mean with respect to x and treating y as a constant and then uh, we plugged in uh, these f and f prime into this formula and find this okay now let's simplify this a little bit so 3x multiplying this 3x plus to the 6 and then remember this negative multiplies the inner function as well so then this becomes negative 3x and negative negative that's a positive so positive y over x plus 2y squared and now uh, you can see here 3x 3x is 2 cancels out and then what's 6y plus uh, plus y that's 7y over x plus 2y squared 
So then this is the answer for the partial derivative with respect to x. Okay, now let's move on to partial derivative with respect to y, which is same as f of y, okay? So here we're finding with respect to y, so we'll be treating the other one as a constant. So x is a constant in here, okay? So here we have our f function again. So here, this is our f function. So let's just copy it from here the f and g function, okay? Oh wait, my mouse isn't working. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so let's just copy it from here and we're going to paste it in here. Okay. Okay, so this is f. Okay, now we do the same thing in here. We find the derivative of x and the derivative of g, okay, but we're treating x as a constant, okay? So the, this time we're treating x as a constant, so this is a constant derivative of a constant of zero, okay? Now, what's the derivative of negative y? So we're, we're differentiating with respect to y, right? So derivative of y is negative one, treating x as a constant, so the derivative of x is zero, plus derivative of two y, it's simply two. Okay, now putting all this together into the formula. So the formula is f prime times g negative g prime times f over g squared. Okay, so f prime. So you just don't write the zero, okay? So then, uh, which is f prime, f prime times g negative g prime. Okay, g prime times f over g squared. So this is g. Now simplify. Now just multiply this. So negative x squared, negative 2y. And then remember this negative going to multiply inside as well so negative 2 times 3 this is 6 I'm sorry okay so this is going to be 6x and then negative negative makes a positive so positive 2y over x plus 2y squared and now we can simplify the like terms so then this and oops Sorry, I mean this and this cancels out. And then negative x uh, and negative 6, this is negative 7x over x plus 2y squared. So this is the answer for the function with respect to y, right? Okay, now let's move on to the other problem. All right, guys, so we have a different example here. So here, uh, this is z equals to, and you have to find the partial derivative of this function. Okay, so if you have watched my previous video, you will know that z equals to is same as f of x, y. So don't worry if you see z equals to, it's the same thing, okay? So here, you have to find the partial derivative of f with respect to x first, since it's a function of two variables, x and y, and then we will find the f of y. Okay, so we are finding f of x, so we're treating y as a constant. Okay, so then we write our upper function is f, lower function is g, so I'll write it in for here. f equals to 4x, uh, and then g equals to 3y squared plus 1. Now taking the derivative of the first one, taking the derivative of the second one. Now we know that we're treating y as a constant, so we're only differentiating for x, okay? So here this, wait, let me use a different color. So this is 4x to the power, uh, 4 square root of x, right? So this is also written as x to the power of half. 
okay so this is simply x to the power of half and you're taking the derivative of this so you're you have to bring this down so four times a half right so four times a half and then x and then you do half negative one so what's half negative one that's negative a half right so then four times a half that's two okay so two x negative a half is the derivative of this function f now taking the derivative of g so this is g and taking the derivative of g but also remember y is a constant so here and this is term is a constant 3 is already constant and y squared we're treating as a constant so this whole thing becomes 0 and then plus 1 is already a constant so this whole thing is 0 so I hope you understood that 3y squared uh, is a constant since we're treating y as a constant and it's with the constant 3y so this whole thing is 0 and plus 1 is already a constant so this whole thing is 0 okay so let's move on. So now when once we have our f prime and g prime, so now let's just plug into the formula. And remember the formula is f prime times g negative g prime times f over g squared. So now let's plug in into the formula. So f prime is this 2x to the power of half times g, where is g? 3y squared plus 1 negative g prime and then f. And then over g squared so this is g so 3y squared plus 1 squared okay now let's simplify this so then this is multiplying with d0 so it will just cancel out okay so then we can multiply these two guys so here we can do 2x negative a half times 3y squared plus 1 over so here you you guys notice the these two terms are are the same and this is to the power of two so you can write it as three squared plus one three y squared plus one okay and now you can simply cancel one of them so you can cancel them and now you're left with two x to the power of half and three y squared plus one and this is the answer for this um, for f of x so now let's calculate f of y all right so I'll just wrote it write it at the bottom here so we have a little space you know so now again our f is what okay so our f is 4 x squared and our g is 3 y squared plus 1 okay 3y squared plus 1 now we do the same thing we are treating since we're differentiating with respect to y so what are we treating as a constant yeah right we're treating x as a constant okay so now taking the derivative of f but treating x as a constant so here this there is x already and this is a constant already 4 so this whole thing goes to 0 right because uh, this whole thing is a constant so derivative of a constant is 0 now taking the derivative of g okay so there is no x here so we have to take the derivative of this okay so 3y squared so taking a 3y squared the derivative of this 2 uh, 2 comes down and then negative 1 right so then 6y and then what's the derivative of plus 1 it's a constant so it's simply 0 okay now let's write it into the function f prime times g so i guess you know the function by now so i don't need to write it i think okay so but if you want to um look at it so this is the function i'm going to be using f prime times g negative g prime times f over g squared so we do f prime first so f prime times g negative g prime times f over g squared okay, g squared right so i simply use this formula so i use f prime times g negative g prime times f over g squared so okay 
So this is simply 0 and then 6y and sorry, I'm going to have to write. So I'm going to multiply 6 times 4. This is negative 24. Um, square root of x, y. I'm sorry, I forgot to square it. Okay, now, okay, so this is the answer to f of y, the partial derivative with respect to y of this function. Okay, so I hope you guys like this video. Uh, don't forget to ask in the comments if you have any question. And thanks for watching. Bye.